Hello, welcome to our English lesson. Writing a profile. 今次咧，我哋一齐睇下点样去编写一啲人物嘅简介。In Form Four, students may be required to write a profile or the biography of a famous person. Writing tasks of a profile or the SBA presentation of a person's biography. You may need to read some fact sheets or letters to gather information for the writing. In organizing, have a plan in mind. If you are not given the outline in the instruction sheet of the data file, 好啦，嚟到中四咧，同学们咧系需要去写一啲诶一啲人物嘅介绍啊，或者传记嘅。咁喺校本评核里边咧都有呢个咁样嘅要求。咁誒喺我哋寫作之前咧，我哋首先誒、呃、一定要去細心閱讀咧，佢所俾你嘅有關資料啦。咁然後咧去分類嘅。咁如果喺個 instruction sheet 或者係題目紙裏邊咧，佢每一個誒、嗯、概要誒誒話俾同學聽要點寫嘅時候咧，同學係一定要將啲資料咧分咗類啦。然後咧首先寫咗個大綱先。Outline。Introduction. Begin the essay with an introduction that provides the biographical sketch, the person's name, appearance, title, or professional accomplishments, and the answers to the WH questions. Introduce the outline, the person's unique attributes that will be explained in the essay. Begin with a succinct. But a resting title, or open the story with a text sentence that answers the reporter's WH questions, and then fill in the background information and details in order of importance, from the most important to the least important. Description of the character. The reader wants to know the most important information first. Which serves as a hook. Your focus can function as the hook to pull readers in and make them want to read about the person. 好啦，我哋大家一齐睇下诶文章嘅结构啊。咁开首嗰段咧，我哋通常咧都系诶写一啲有关诶人物嘅诶介绍嘅，例如佢嘅名啦，佢嘅外貌啦，职衔啦。或者佢有啲咩嘢專業成就，或者係解答一啲誒 WH 嘅問題。大家記唔記得咩叫 WH 啊？五個 W， 一個 H 啦，即係 Who、When、Where、What、Why、How。我哋仲可以咧簡單咁樣講述呢個人物嘅獨特個性啦，然後喺文章內容裏邊咧再加以解釋。咁一個誒、呃、簡潔同埋吸引嘅標題咧，係好緊要嘅。咁當然啦，呢、这個可以吸引到讀者繼續讀落去啦。又或者我哋喺誒故事嘅開首咧，誒、呃、去解答一啲 WH 嘅問題，去吸引讀者，然後加入插一啲誒、呃、背景嘅資料啦，同埋一啲誒、呃、重要嘅事件。咁當然咧，由最重要嘅事件一路排落去啦。到到文章嘅內容啦，咁大家都知道咧，讀者咧好希望咧想知道一啲重要嘅事情先嘅。咁呢一個咧，亦都係一個好似一個勾咁樣，吸引住讀者去繼續睇落去嘅。咁所以咧，大家誒個、呃、焦點咧誒、呃、要選擇得好清晰。能夠吸引讀者嘅。Ending paragraph. End the essay with an effective conclusion. We kept the high points from the essay, but phrased them in a different way to avoid repetition. Add a personal insight or a quotation that sums up the person or experience. This can allow the readers to feel contented by bringing the article full circle. 
好啦，嚟到文章嘅末段，我哋睇下點樣寫一個有效嘅結論。咁首先咧，我哋要回應翻文章裏面所提及過一啲重要嘅事項。咁但係咧，我哋盡量咧用一啲唔同嘅詞匯去表達，咁令到讀者咧唔會覺得誒好重複啊，或者累贅。我哋可以加入一啲個人嘅見解，或者引用其他人講過嘅嘢而作出結論。咁令讀者咧睇完之後咧，感覺到一個圓滿嘅結束。Task one, you are reading a website about Liu Xiang. Read the website and answer the questions. Born on 13th July 1983 in Shanghai, Liu Xiang is a Chinese 110 meter hurdler. He is the first Chinese athlete to win a gold medal in the men's track event in the Olympics. Korea, Liu's road to become a world sports star began in 2000, when he got the fourth place of the men's 110 meter hurdle in the World Junior Championships. In the following years, Liu won several gold medals. And broke a number of records. Liu became world famous when he won the gold medal in the Athens Olympics in 2004. He went on to break the world record at 12.88 seconds in 2006, which was later broken by Darren Robles, a Cuban athlete. Personal profile, off the track, Liu likes to keep a low profile. Little is known about his personal life. With his performances with flying colors, he has been invited to endless interviews and media events. However, the shy Liu doesn't allow the media frenzy to get very close to him. Instead, he keeps a balance in his life by focusing on his training. 2009 to 2011, return from injury. 2008 is a heartbreaking year for Liu and millions of Chinese. They were all expecting their hero to defend the crown, but instead. The hero walked out of the Beijing National Stadium because of a severe foot injury. He had no choice but to withdraw from the Olympics. Later on, Liu defeated David Oliver in the 110 meter hurdle in the 2011 Samsung Diamond League, Shanghai. With a world-leading record of 13.07 seconds. Influence. As a world sports star, Liu's influence is not to be underestimated. In the meantime, we can see him in action for commercial giants such as Coca-Cola and Nike. In fact, he was also featured. On the cover of Time Magazine Asian Edition, entitled "Liu Xiang and 99 More Athletes to Watch." Question one: Why is Liu Xiang well known to the world? A. He has broken a lot of world records. B. He is the first Chinese to win a track event in the Olympics. C. He is the youngest hurdler in history. D. He became the world champion within a short period of time. Question two. Read lines nineteen to twenty. 
they were all expecting their hero to defend the crown. The word "they" refers to a. Liu and the media. B. The Chinese. C. People watching the Olympics. D. People all over the world. Okay, let's see the answer. Number one is B, and number two is B as well. 好啦，我哋睇下個答案點解會係咁。嗱喺誒第一條題目嗰度問咧，誒點解劉翔會係世界知名啦？咁喺誒篇文章裏邊咧，一開首咧佢就已經寫咗啦。咁大家可以睇下。He is the first athlete to win a gold medal in a men's track event in the Olympics. 好啦，第二題誒，到底個 day 係 refer to 乜嘢咧？咁誒喺呢一句誒之前咧，佢上邊已經寫咗啦。咁二零零八年咧 ，two thousand and eight is a heartbreaking. Year for Liu and millions of Chinese. So in the answer, B is the best one. Task two: Read the oral presentation of the profile of Liu Xiang. Add a remark at the end of the paragraphs to impress the listeners with a message. Profile of Liu Xiang. The first Chinese gold medalist in the track and field events. Do you want to be the champion in a sports event? Being the champion gives a special feeling to everyone. Today's protagonist is the only one Chinese man who won the gold medal from the track and field in the Olympics history. Yes. Liu Xiang was born in 1983 in Shanghai. When he was young, he practiced jumping in the junior sports school. But after a bone test showing that he would not be able to become a tall man, he was asked to give up. Although he could not participate in jumping anymore, he. The year of 1998 was a turning point for Liu Xiang, because he attracted the attention of a famous hurdle coach, Sun Haiping, just within three years. Alan Johnson was a great opponent of Liu Xiang. He broke the Asian record and won a lot of competitions. They participated in the same competitions. Sometimes Liu Xiang was the winner. Sometimes Johnson was the winner. Liu Xiang did a better job of clearing the hurdles, but Johnson's stronger start ended up making the difference. In 2004, Liu Xiang met Johnson in the Olympic Games in Greece. They both put up an exciting show. Unfortunately, Johnson was crashed out of the games after falling at the ninth hurdle at round two. Johnson's early exit paved the way for Liu Xiang's win. Liu Xiang finally entered the final turn of the male 110 meter hurdles. All the audience watched without blinking. When Liu Xiang dashed past. The finishing line, all the spectators hailed with delight. 
He was the first girl a Chinese athlete had ever won from the track and field in the Olympics history. The happiest news was he clocked a stunning 12.91 seconds to equal the world record set by Britain's Colin Jackson in 1993. After the race, he said with confidence, Let us now read a possible speech below. Profile of Liu Xiang, the first Chinese gold medalist in the track and field events. Do you want to be the only one in a sports event? Being the champion gives a special feeling to everyone. Today's protagonist is the only one Chinese man who won the golden medal from the track and field in the Olympics history. Yes, he was Liu Xiang. Liu Xiang was born in 1983 in Shanghai. When he was young, he practiced jumping in the junior sports school. But after a bone test showing, that he would not be able to become a tall man, he was asked to give up. Although he could not participate in jumping anymore, he was determined to compete in the Olympics in the future. The year of 1998 was a turning point for Liu Xiang because he attracted the attention of a famous hurdle coach, Sun Hai Ping. Just within three years, Liu Xiang broke the world youth record, an Asian record with a time of 13.12. Alan Johnson was a great opponent of Liu Xiang. He broke the Asian record and won a lot of competitions. They participate in the same competitions. Sometimes Liu Xiang was the winner. Sometimes Johnson was the winner. Liu Xiang did a better job of clearing the hurdles, but Johnson's stronger start ended up making the difference. In 2004, Liu Xiang met Johnson in the Olympic Games in Greece. They both put up an exciting show. Unfortunately, Johnson was crashed out of the Games after falling at the ninth hurdle at round two. Johnson's early exit passed the way for Liu Xiang's win. Liu Xiang finally entered the final turn of the male 110 meter hurdles. All the audience watched without blinking. When Liu Xiang dashed past the finishing line, all the spectators hailed with delight. It was the first goal a Chinese athlete had ever won from the track and field in the Olympics history. The happiest news was he clocked a stunning 12.91 seconds to equal the world record set by Britain's Colin Jackson in 1993. After the race, he said with confidence to the camera, Who said Chinese can't do it? Task 3. Listen to the talk on movie star Nicole Kidman. Read the questions first. Answer the following questions if you know her. Have you ever seen a movie starring Nicole Kidman? What was the story about? 
Is there anything you don't like about her? What nationality is she? Listen to the audio presentation and answer the questions that follow. Number one, when and where was Nicole born? Number two, where were her parents' families originally from? Number three, why didn't she go to university? Number four, what type of film is Days of Founder? Number five, was Tom Cruise single? Divorced, married when he met her. Number six, when did she marry Tom Cruise? Number seven, how long was Something Stupid a number one hit in the UK? Number eight, how many Oscars has she won? Number nine, how much does she earn for each film she makes? Number ten. When did she marry Keith Urban? Today, I'm in Sydney, Australia, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Charming, elegant, sophisticated, exciting, just like one of Sydney's most famous daughters, Nicole Kidman. In fact, she was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, on the 20th of June, 1967, but moved to Sydney when she was very young. Her father and mother were born in Australia. This is the reason why she has dual nationality. Her father is of Scottish origin and her mother of Irish origin. When she was four, she started taking ballet lessons and later went on to study at drama school in Sydney. She interrupted her studies to help her family while her mother was recovering from breast cancer. During the 1980s, she worked on some TV series and films. My favourite miniseries, and indeed the first I can remember seeing her in, was Bangkok Hilton, the story of a girl who spends time in a Thai prison because someone gave her drugs to take out of the country. Her first major film was in the same year. It is the story of a woman and her husband who take a sailing boat for a relaxing holiday but find a survivor of an accident on the way. This man, in fact, is a mad killer, and the couple have to defend themselves from him. The title of this film is Dead Calm. Her next film was with Tom Cruise. In 1990, they worked together on Days of Thunder, the story of a racing driver and his relationship with the doctor who helps to save his life. It's an action film and a love story. It was also a love story in real life, because on Christmas Eve of the same year, they got married in Colorado, USA. Before that, Tom Cruise was married to the actress Mimi Rogers, so they got divorced when Tom fell in love with Nicole. They adopted two children during this marriage, which lasted for ten years. The last film they worked on as a married couple was also the last film of legendary Stanley Kubrick, Eyes Wide Shut, in 1999. Since then she has made some fabulous films. I haven't seen them all, but the ones I really like are Moulin Rouge, The Others, Birthday Girl, The Human Stain, Cold Mountain and The Interpreter. It was in Moulin Rouge that we discovered her amazing singing voice. She later sang a duet with Robbie Williams, a remake of Frank Sinatra's Something Stupid. This was number one in the UK pop charts for three weeks, including being the prestigious Christmas number one. Such a versatile actress should also win many awards, and she has. As well as various Golden Globes and BAFTAs, she won an Oscar for Best Actress in The Hours, the story of writer Virginia Woolf. All of this deserved success also now means that she's one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, earning around $17 million per film. At the time of sending this postcard, Nicole has just married for the second time. The lucky man is singer Keith Urban. They made their vows in Sydney five days after her 39th birthday. I wish them every happiness.
Let's check the answers. Now, do the exercise to test yourself. Bye!